Jaguar versus Leopard. Who would win this fight? A year and a half ago, I first approached this topic, Jaguar versus Leopard. Today, I will do the second part of this topic, relying more on the fight between the two big cats. They are wildcat members of the Panthera genus, along with lion and tiger. These are the only animals capable of making a roar and are the most fearsome predators in the wild. As the only big cat species in the New World, jaguars have dominated the rituals and stories of the people who live there. Depictions of jaguars are found in ruins all along Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, where the jaguar was a chief figure in religious rites. Their mesmerizing gaze and hunting prowess have earned them a prominent place in mythology and legend. The leopard, also called a panther, is a large cat closely related to the lion, tiger, and jaguar. The name leopard was originally given to the cat now called cheetah, the so-called hunting leopard, which was once thought to be a cross between the lion and the pard. The term pard was eventually replaced by the name leopard. Size and Description The jaguar is the largest cat in the Americas. After the tiger and lion, it is the third biggest cat in the world. The jaguar is typically between 5 and 6 feet long, 1.5 and 1.8 meters, and its tail measures from 27 to 35 inches. 70 to 90 centimeters. Jaguars usually weigh between 149 to 300 pounds, 68 to 136 kilograms, but their size varies a lot between different regions. In Central America, jaguars are much smaller than those found in the Pantanal. Panthera onca has fur that ranges in color from pale yellow to reddish brown with black rosette-shaped markings on its neck, body, and limbs. Some of the rosettes have black dots in the middle of them. It has black barring at the end of its tail and an off-white belly. An average leopard has a head and body length of 38 to 75 inches, 97 to 191 centimeters, and weighs 65 to 155 pounds. 30 to 70 kilograms. Its tail can reach a length of up to 3 feet, 1 meter. The leopard is known for its light to tawny brown coat patterned with black spots and rosettes or rings. Unlike those of the jaguar, the rosettes of the leopard never have spots inside them. Other distinguishing features of this spectacular cat are the large head, powerful neck and shoulders, and short, muscular limbs. Range and Habitat The jaguar, once found in the United States, was hunted to extinction here in the late 1940s. Today, it is found in Mexico, but swiftly declining, and Central America, and the strongest populations being found in the Mato Grosso, Brazil. The Pantanal, bordering Brazil, Bolivia, and Paraguay, Chiapas State, Mexico, and the Yucatan Peninsula, northern Guatemala, Belize. The jaguar is commonly found in rainforests, savannas, and swamps, but at the northern end of its territory, it may enter scrub country and even deserts. The jaguar still has a stronghold in the Amazon basin, but has been nearly wiped out of all drier regions. Wherever it is found, it requires fresh water, as the jaguar is an excellent swimmer. The leopard is very adaptable and can live in many different places across the globe. Leopards are found in sub-Saharan Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, southwestern and eastern Turkey, in the Sinai Judean Desert of Southwest Asia, the Himalayan foothills, India, Russia, China, and the islands of Java and Sri Lanka. These large cats can live in almost any type of habitat, 
including rainforests, deserts, woodlands, grasslands, savannas, forests, mountain habitats, coastal scrubs, shrublands, and swampy areas. In fact, leopards live in more places than any other large cat. Diet Jaguars are carnivores, which means they eat only meat. In the wild, jaguars will use their speed and stealth to take down deer, peccary, monkeys, birds, frogs, fish, alligators, and small rodents. If wild food is scarce, these large cats will also hunt domestic livestock. Jaguars typically attack prey by pouncing on them from a concealed spot. They either deliver a direct bite to the neck and then suffocate their prey, or they instantly kill them by piercing the back of the skull with their canines. Their powerful jaws and canines allow them to get through thick reptilian skin and turtle carapaces. Jaguars will only eat their prey after dragging into the trees, even if the trees are quite a distance away. Generally, leopards will eat any warm-blooded prey, from mice and hares to large antelope. But a leopard is the supreme opportunist and will also eat birds, reptiles, rodents, and even insects. Leopards are ambush predators. They crouch low to sneak up to their prey and pounce before it has a chance to react. A leopard will kill its prey with one swift bite to the neck, breaking it. Behavior Jaguars live alone and mark their territories by vocalizing, clawing trees, and leaving scent marks by defecating and spraying urine. Males have larger home ranges than females, and male home ranges may contain those of two or three female jaguars. Unlike many other cat species, Panthera onca does not avoid water. They are good swimmers and regularly hunt in rivers. They also spend time bathing and wallowing in water. Jaguars climb trees for safety as well as to hunt, sometimes ambushing their prey from above by jumping from a tree. However, they usually stalk their prey on the ground, preferring areas with thick vegetation which offer them cover. Leopards are solitary creatures that only spend time with others when they are mating or raising young. They are also nocturnal and spend their nights hunting instead of sleeping. Leopards spend a lot of their time in trees. Their spotted coat camouflages them, making them blend in with the leaves of the tree. They will often drag their prey into trees to keep it from being taken by other animals. The calls of the leopard vary and include a series of harsh coughs, throaty growls, and deep purring sounds. Now it's time to find out who would win a fight between a jaguar and a leopard. A jaguar, most easily. They are larger, more muscular, have the strongest bite force of all cats and possibly all mammals. They kill crocs, are probably the best swimmer of the cats. They are probably the second best tree climbers behind the leopards, but they can scale trees nearly as well as a leopard. While they are probably both the most agile of the cats, the jaguar has shorter legs, making it more easy to stick close to the ground and move around faster, making the jaguar the most agile and best pound-for-pound -pound fighter of the big cats. But that a jaguar has the tools doesn't mean it would automatically win. Jaguars are at the top of the food chain in the Americas. They have no natural enemies and they are capable of killing any animal they see. Leopards, on the other hand, live next to tigers, lions, spotted hyenas, crocodiles, etc., all of which are more than able to kill and eat them. And they live among herbivores that are far too big for any leopard to kill. So leopards are used to dealing with animals much bigger and stronger than themselves. Leopards are very dangerous. If size and tools matter, of course the jaguar wins. But it's wrong to underestimate any leopard. Leopards tend to be far more aggressive than jaguars, 
and I think this could play a huge factor. The leopard has never killed a full-grown tiger or lion, but they were able to stand their ground long enough to survive an encounter. A big male leopard would be a very tough opponent. It would stand its ground and would definitely repel the jaguar's attack. Despite these things, I think in a head-to-head -head fight, however, the jaguar will win. This is going to be a very brutal fight between a jaguar and a leopard, as there is no chance of escape for the leopard because jaguars can also climb up the tree, because there is the only way of the leopard's escape. So in my opinion, the jaguar is the winner. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.